And we are back live here in the ACW arena for this match. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell getting a shot in the tag titles. Can they get it done and win some championship gold? Or will we see a much better champions? Well, we're going to find out right here and now because here comes Candice. And yep, folks, we've been told that there are stipulations added to this match to ensure we have winners tonight. They draw the fully contest. It's a triple threat tornado tag team elimination match. And it's for the ACW Women's Tag Team Championships. Making her way to the ring. Representing the way from Anaheim, California. Candice LeRae. Well, Candice LeRae have a lot of opportunities at the ACW Women's World Title. Came so close to defeating Crystal, but lost. Well, she was she was close, all right. Raw guts I've ever seen last Sunday night. No doubt about it. And here comes Indy Hartwell, who was out here earlier tonight, speaking for Dexter Loomis. No doubt about it. Loomis was happy enough to be champion. Oh, my goodness. As right now, though, Indy Hartwell fired up and ready in this triumphant matchup. What a match this is going to be here tonight. It's my goodness. And from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Hailing all the way from Australia in the Australian Outback. No, 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 I'm bad at my mind. Indy Hartwell has a lot of raw and guts I thought I'd never see, especially in an ACW ring. And that matter, she's been a member of the way since day one, along with Dexter Loomis and Austin Theory, no less. And that matter, she could tell Indy Hartwell, this is going to be an amazing match that we're going to witness here, but who stepped up to the challenge? Oh, no! The Iconics! Oh, they're desperate. They'll do whatever it takes to become champions. And they thought this would be good news for them. And the team of Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, the Iconics. Well, the Iconics were desperate since day one when they arrived here at ACW. Billy Kay, a former member of the Black Crows MC, no less. No doubt about it, she was desperate to become champion since day one, arriving to TNW. But ever since returning to ACW with our longtime best friend Peyton Royce, they've been desperate to try to become tag team champions in the women's division here in ACW, no less. Well, it's a sign of desperation by Billy Kay, but as the old saying goes, desperate times call for desperate measures. And no doubt about it, the Iconics had a huge rivalry with the new legacy in the form of Eileen and Dawn, and that rivalry came to an end ever since. No doubt about it, when May showed up, that really changed the specter points which became an amazing moment in ACW history since late last year. No doubt about it, and here comes none other than Shia Lee. It looks like Shia Lee's coming up to the plate, and we all know who her partner is, Stacy Keebler. No doubt about it. What an opportunity for Shia Lee one last time to try to become tag team champion tonight. No doubt about it, she'll do whatever it takes to win some championship gold here tonight on ACW. Listen to the crowd and from Chongqi, China, Saya Lee. Saya Lee already fired up and ready to go here. Coming all the way from Chongqi, China. She's like a real life anime character come to life. But how about it? Saya Lee from Chongqi, China has tremendous heart ever since arriving here to ACW. Pulling off an amazing matches during her arrival, no less. And no doubt about it. This is going to be a war zone that I don't think nobody will ever forget. And just no doubt about it. Saya Lee fired up and ready to go here in this matchup. What more can happen here? Waiting for the arrival of her tag team partner, Stacy Keebler, also known as Super Stacy. And right now, though, can they win the titles? Or could we be looking at the way as the new champions? Well, here she comes. 
and from Baltimore, Maryland, Stacy Keebler. Well, Stacy Keebler, what an opportunity for this young lady, well, lately this this Hall of Famer and one of the greatest individuals in the history of wrestling today. No doubt about it, Super Stacy on her way to the ring, hoping to become tag team champion tonight. Pull off amazing versus matches with other TNW superstars, including HWF superstars, no less. Oh, no doubt about it, she's a legend, all right, and a Hall of Famer. One time managed the Dudleys, even managed the Hurricane and Rosie, no less. No doubt about it, she's here as Super Stacy for a reason. And she's a real superhero in everyone's book tonight, including these fans. All right now though, here we go. ACW Women's Tag Team titles on the line here. Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. Trying to take out the way here tonight, along with Shia Lee and Super Stacy, no less. Shia Lee went for an early cover, but Candace kicked out before the ref even made a count. And for whatever the reason, I think the Iconics and Sia Lee, along with Stacey Keebler, just do not like the way tonight. No doubt about it. And can you blame them? Candice LeRae right now, coming back on the offense, a rolling Yoshi Tonic. We've been told that this match is under false count anywhere rules and no disqualifications to determine a winner tonight. But right now, though, ACW founder Shadow Fiend taking full responsibility if anything does happen during this match. No doubt about it. And now both iconic members are on the outside. Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. And Candice Lorraine with an early cover on Sia Lee. Lee kicked out of that one. While the way are, are trying to have their way, no less. And a BME moonsault. And now Stacy Keeble with an early cover on the outside. And the Iconics already in trouble, nearly going. DDT by Indy Hartwell, my God, on the outside. Our senior official right there following the action to ensure we have winners tonight and the only surviving team to try to become tag team champions. Indy Hartwell with a cover. It gets a one count for her troubles. Billy Kay and Peyton Royce out of desperation any way they can here. They just could not wait long enough. Our official trying to run to the ring to try to count the submission, but Candice LeRae escaped it. And a double arm DDT by Indy Hartwell. And a power bomb by Sia Lee. Cover is this for Candace, gets a one count. And oh my God, not on the outside here. Indy Hartwell has got Billy Kay up. Vertical suplex, Sia Lee with a cover. Two, no. Candice LeRae staying alive here. And there's a more slow shot on Candice. Cover is this it for Candice LeRae. One, two, three. Candice LeRae has been eliminated. Oh, Candice LeRae out. And it looks like Saya Lee and Stacy Keebler, Super Stacy, have a two of one two of one advantage over Indy Hartwell. Well the, well, the Iconics have the same advantage. Well, they're trying to live up to the advantage any way they can here. Well, Peyton Royce is just taking it to the fans, just mocking them. Springboard cross body to Stacy Keebler. Well, Stacy back up, kick to the leg, back elbow, another kick. Knife that's chop and the big right hands. While the fight goes out of the ring, and there's a takedown by Stacy Keebler. Billy came from behind, back suplex on Sia Lee. Oh, wait a minute, referee in the, in the ring, staying on the submission, making sure that Peyton Royce might tap out here. But Peyton Royce escaped it. Peyton Royce escaped the submission there. While, in the, while outside the ring, this is a two of one advantage over Sia Lee at this point. While Billy Kay,
countering Saya Lee at this point, while Indy Hartwell helping out in the situation, knowing this is a two of one advantage. As Saya Lee is by herself, and oh my God, the brain buster on the outside by Billy Kay. And a kick to the face. The cover. Zaya Lee has been eliminated. Lee is out of this fight. And the Iconics have a 2 1 advantage over Indy Hartwell. And of course, Stacey Keebler. And the Scorkscrew Brain Buster. Cover. One, two, three. Stacey Keebler has been eliminated. And the Iconics with a two of one advantage over the way it looks like. Yeah, well, Indy Hartwell needs to pick up a strategy quick because the Iconics are, are playing the numbers game, it looks like. Well, playing the waiting game, it looks like, with Indy Hartwell as they beat the heck out of her here. Indy Hartwell needs to think of a strategy here quick or she's gonna get kicked out, or she's gonna be out of this matchup for the opportunity to become champion, it looks like. Well, the Iconics have waited a long time for this, trying to become champion, to take advantage on a hurt and fatigue. Indy Hartwell again with that corkscrew brain buster. Cover, two, no! Indy Hartwell kicked out, staying alive here in this match. Oh my God, Indy Hartwell got set in gut first off the steel steps. And again off the steel as Billy Kay and Peyton Royce of the Iconics try to take advantage over Indy Hartwell, no less. And Billy Kay just mocking Indy Hartwell. They're playing the numbers game, it looks like. And Peyton Royce telling her best friend, do the honors, she's all yours. And the Gory Bomb mocking Eddie Gunnell. Cover. No one. Indy Hartwell kicked out at two and a half. Showing hearts and guts kicking out. Split leg drop on, on Indy Hartwell again. The Iconics pulling off the numbers game here tonight. Yet though the numbers game may caught up to Indy Hartwell. She's by herself here. And right now the brains are scrambled as Indy Hartwell is by herself in there without Candice LeRae. Oh, wait a minute, Billy Kay is going up top. What's she thinking here? I don't know. Incoming! Uh-oh. Billy Kay may have hurt herself there in the gut. And out on the barricade. Oh my God. Peyton Royce sending Indy Hartwell face first off the steel post. And the Iconics building the advantage here. And right now though, a high end back suplex on Indy Hartwell. This has truly become the numbers game and sending Indy Hartwell into our official inadvertently. Nothing the referee can do about it because there's no DQs. And a Russian leg sweep. And now, Peyton Royce with a Hurricane Rana. And now, bringing Indy Hartwell back to the ring. That's where you conduct your business. And Billy Kay again up top. Another split leg drop, and Billy Kay is stuck on the top rope, no less. Oh, in trouble. Quick as a cat, landing on her feet. And there's the kick, cross body. Cover, one, two. And the Iconics are the new ACW Women's Tag Team Champions. Well, they got off lucky. Taking the numbers game to their advantage. Here are your winners and the new 
WCW Women's Tag Team Champions, the team of Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, the Iconics. Well, the Iconics have done it. They're the new ACW Women's Tag Team Champions. They got off lucky tonight with a two-on-one numbers game. Uh-oh. I've just received word by founder of ACW Shadow Fiend that, it, that next week's final episode is going to be a bang to end off the new year. The way we'll get one more shot at the tag titles. Indy Hartwell get looking to gain some revenge, teaming up with Candice LeRae, and of course, taking on the, the new champions, the Iconics. Well, that matchup is huge next week. But right now, though, folks, stick around. Up next, our main event tonight, an eight-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for the ACW World Heavyweight title. Who's going to win it all and face Baltoyoi next week on our final episode of the new year? Find out. Come to you live at next. That's what, what happens at the scene before about GGB has missing once again. It has been what happens, all friends has been saved his life to the Cerudo and now he's been trapped in different dimensions in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. With all what happens, we'll find out that the CGTP will find him, which will decide to defeat Rocky. And we are back live here for our main event here in the ACW Arena. And hey, looks like Pete Dunn wants a shot at the title. And this is the crowd. Ladies and the following contest is an eight-man battle royal. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, Maryland. From Birmingham, England. Weighing at 205 pounds. The bruiser weight. Pete Dunn! Pete Dunn, the former NXT UK champion, former NXT tag team champions with Matt Riddle, no less. And something tells me right down the road, this man will stop at nothing to become ACW World Heavyweight Champion. Well, the man's desperate. He is a desperate man who, do, who does desperate things. He likes to break his opponent's fingers and gets what he wants. Well, Pete Dunn is a bruiserweight, and this man is dangerous. The man's a bruiserweight and got the nickname for a reason. He can beat the heck out of you anytime he wants in order to get a shot at the tag team, at the any, any title he wants. No doubt about it, this is for the ACW World Heavyweight title opportunity. And here comes Alexander Wolf. Well, Alexander Wolf wants the shot any way that he can here. Former member of Sanity, no less, and right now, ready for a fight for, the, for this opportunity of a lifetime. So look at this man. Look at the look in his eyes. No, no sanity whatsoever in this man. Just my goodness. And from representing Imperium from Boston, Germany, weighing in at 245 pounds, Alexander Wolf. Imperial, that's a tag team we have not seen yet here in ACW, because we've been told from the floor by ACW founder Shadow Fiend that coming up next week on our final episodes of ACW, before leading into the new year, it will be an open challenge to all the championships more precisely, it would be an open challenge for the next gen championship for Dexter Loomis's title. Who's going to step up and face him for the title? Oh, we're going to find out coming up next week. And not only is the ACW Women's Tag Team titles on the line there coming up, so is the next generation title, the tag titles, the Women's World title, and the biggest prize of them all, the ACW World Heavyweight Championship. And oh my goodness, look at this man! 
Drew Gallick has been signed to ACW. And from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. Well, I got, I mispronounced the last name right. I apologize there, folks. Drew Gallick. Drew Golak. Drew Gallak already a, a new signing to ACW. We have not seen this man compete yet. He's also a cruiserweight and would love more than anything than to become ACW World Heavyweight Champion. Well, the winner of this match will meet Baltayoi next week on our final episode, which will be the first ever premiere of ACW. Well, now that I've had it in my mind, it's going to be a big time moment there. And who knows what can happen. And hey, it's Farouk. Well, wanting a shot at the world title is that man Farouk. And right now, though, here he comes. And from Warner Robins, Georgia, weighing in at 275 pounds, Farouk. Farouk, the former leader of the APA, the Acolytes Protection Agency. But how about the Acolyte Protection Agency? And something tells me right down the road, Farouk would love more than anything than to become ACW World Heavyweight Champion. The former first ever African American to win the WCW title. But how about to win the world title, no less, in WCW's record books? Well, Farouk knows what it's all about. And he's a Hall of Famer. But how about this is an all out opportunity of a lifetime? Uh oh. I know who that is. It's William Regal. Regal will do whatever it takes to become champion here at ACW. Out of desperation. But how about it? And Regal is a man who claims to be a gentleman. And from Blackpool, England, weighing in at 240 pounds, William Regal! William Regal, a legend in wrestling in his own right, Former World Tag Team Champions with Eugene and Tajeri. Former Intercontinental Champion and European Champion, no less. But how about it? William Regal has done amazing things back in the record books back in, in the WWE's organization days. Well, they better he better be lucky enough, though, that he didn't even gun for the major title. But how about it? Yeah, Uh-oh. I think I know who that is. It's Akira Tozawa. He would do whatever it takes to become champion at ACW. Listen to the crowd! And from Kone, Japan, Japan, weighing in at 156 pounds, Akira Tozawa! Well, Tozawa will do whatever it takes to become ACW World Heavyweight Champion, but something tells me right down the road, it's going to be an amazing match. I'll tell you that much. Well, Akira Tozawa is a desperate man. And the man's a fierce martial artist in all of martial arts. And, uh-oh, it's the Brian Kendrick. He's also desperate at becoming champion at ACW. A lot of opportunity for the Brian Kendrick. And from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 174 pounds. The Brian Kendrick. Well, the Brian Kendrick, who is also desperate, trying to become champion in ACW. You know, this man is a desperate man who does desperate things. That's seven men in a row. Who is the final man going to step up to the challenge in this eight-man battle royal? Still waiting for the arrival on who it's, who it's going to be. As the Brian Kendrick is fired up and ready. Uh oh, I know who that is. It's Omas, the 400 seven foot monster. My goodness, the former bodyguard and their opponent from Lago style in Siberia, weighing in at 400 pounds, Omas. Omas, 400 pounds, standing seven feet tall, and the former bodyguard of the phenomenal AJ Styles. But how about it? Already a former tag team champion in his own rights back in the WWE's record books. 
He won the Raw Tag Team Championships with AJ Styles, and that was a big time moment, no less. No doubt about it, you can tell as that man right there is out of desperation, and he's on a path to destruction, trying to become champion here at ACW. And no doubt about it, we already know that next week is going to be a war zone with the tag titles at Open Challenge, and so is the next generation title. And no doubt about it, my mind. We already know that the, the way will get one more shot, the ACW Women's Tag Team titles, Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae, who are here for one thing, to become champions. But how about it? Here we go. Match underway in Farouk, going right after Alexander Wolf, and Alexander Wolf is out. Alexander Wolf has been eliminated. And William Regal's out. William Regal has been eliminated. Man, the big man is on a path of destruction, eliminating both men at the same time. A new ACW record. Well, speaking of records, looks like Tozawa is going right after, right after Omas. Not a, not a good move on the Cruiserweight's part. No doubt about it. And Farouk taking down Drew, Drew there any way he can. I'm sorry, folks. I can't even pronounce his last name right. And Drew right now in trouble. Baruch with a power slam. Omas right now going for another elimination, it looks like, on Talzawa. Pete Dunn with an amazing suplex powerbomb. Akira Talzawa has been eliminated. Talzawa is out, and Omas has eliminated a third man in this matchup, no less. Well, Farouk is a powerhouse and a whole house of fire, and he's not going to back down from this challenge and the opportunity he's been given. But how about it? Omos has eliminated three men in a row. And Pete Dunn, the bruiserweight, going right after Omos. And Drew got a fall away half Nelson slam for his troubles. And a rear clothesline on the Brian Kendrick. Oh, Pete Dunn going right after the fingers. And I think he may have broken Omos's fingers, no less. And Omos is out of this match. Omos has been eliminated. Well, thanks for coming, Omos. <laughs> Looks like Pete Dunn has eliminated Omos and out of this match. He just broke the big man's fingers and got him out. And Drew hanging on. Hang in there, kid. And Drew is out. Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak has been eliminated. Well, Gulak is out. Gulak is out. Well, thanks for coming, Drew Gulak. <laughs> well, V. Brian Kendrick and Pete Dunn, the two cruiserweights, the only two cruiserweights in this match. And it comes down to a unique final three, no less. And Pete Dunn, the bruiserweight, in trouble. Well, Farouk is a heavyweight, the powerhouse of the, a of the APA, doing whatever it takes to try to become ACW World Heavyweight Champion, just like JBL did. Well, he's desperate any way he can here. Farouk's desperate. Uh-oh. Kick to the gut. And now Pete Dunn. Double arm suplex slam. One-legged drop kick. Nobody home there. And, oh, a forearm by the Brian Kendrick. And Pete Dunn going everything he can to take out the Brian Kendrick. Double arm suplex slam. And Farouk back to his feet. Oh, he caught Pete Dunn. Looking for it. The Dominator. The Dominator on Pete Dunn. Oh, he's got him up. Looking for the elimination. But launches him like a human chapel instead. And Farouk, Farouk suplex slam, taking down the Brian Kendrick. Spine buster. Oh, the Brian Kendrick now in trouble. Pete Dunn getting too confident. That may come back to haunt him. And now Farouk 
Trying to eliminate the Brian Kendrick. Can he get him out? And wait a minute, Pete Dunn and Farouk working together. And the Brian Kendrick is out. The Brian Kendrick has been eliminated. And what a maneuver by Pete Dunn, taking Farouk down. And the Bruiserweight stopping his face. Oh my God, Farouk's been busted wide open here. So my goodness, I don't think Pete Dunn is done with them yet. And a headbutt. So my God, Farouk is busted wide open here. Uh-oh, it got a bad Dominator! The Dominator on Pete Dunn. Uh-oh, Farouk looking for the final elimination, and he does! Farouk is getting a title shot next week. What a win by Farouk, taking out Pete Dunn. Here is your winner, Farouk! Farouk gets a title shot next week for the ACW World Heavyweight title. He may need to receive medical personnel after that busted wound right there. Not how about it. What a win by Farouk. This was an amazing matchup here, folks. Run right of time from the ACW Arena, live from Phoenix, Arizona. We want to thank you all so much for tuning in, and we'll see you all next week for the final episode. I've been your commentator, MJ. We'll see you all next time. Good fight. Good night. And thanks for joining us in my gobble tonight. What a night it has been here on ACW. Alliance Championship Wrestling.